poinsettias, holiday cactus, boughs of holly, all things you're likely to find in any home this time of year. News 10's Matt Brooks met with a local biologist to get some facts about your favorite holiday plants. Candles, decorations, and festive plants. All the ingredients to set the Christmas mood. If you find that you need to get out of an awkward conversation, knowing a few facts about holiday flora might help. Biologist Dr. Peter Coppinger says the poinsettias are one of the undisputed holiday classics. Poinsettias that you have in your home uh, really owe their fame to uh, Joel Roberts Poinsett, who brought poinsettias from Mexico to the United States in around 1828. Uh, early horticulturalists developed techniques to be able to make them bushier. You probably know that poinsettias are toxic if eaten, but they're not quite so life-threatening as people make them out to be. When you break their stems or leaves, they exude this milky substance called latex. And in many related plants, this milky substance is highly toxic. But in poinsettias, the toxicity of the plants are sometimes overstated. Uh, you'd have to ingest large numbers of leaves in order to really show any significant ill effects. It's still a good idea to keep your kids and pets away from the plants just in case. The same goes for holly berries and mistletoe. If you're looking for a safe plant, the holiday cactus from Brazil is a good choice. These will produce flowers once the nights are longer than 12 hours. But if you put them in a dark room and then you go in in the middle of the night and flip the light on, you confuse the plants and you can delay flowering. I've inherited Christmas cacti that are a couple decades old. So if you take care of them, they'll, they'll live a long time. Chemicals called terpenes and fir branches give off the rich pine scent that can help spread the Christmas mood. But you can also find them in holiday candles if you don't want the mess. In Terre Haute, Matt Brooks, News 10.